Having understood the need to conserve natural resources, let us examine some non-conventional energy sources. There are a number of plants and weeds which are not consumed as food and can be used for fuel production. These are being used in composting to prepare manure in biogas plants. Waste materials produced in agriculture, dairy farms and even in our houses can be used as fuels. In villages, cattle dung is collected and dried in the sun. The dried dung is used as fuel. One kilo of dried dung gives about 3000 kilocalories of heat energy. But the smoke from dung pollutes the atmosphere. In order to use the excreta of not only cattle but also human fecal matter and excreta of other animals without causing pollution, anaerobic fermentation of the waste to produce gas is being done. This gas known as biogas is used as a fuel. The biogas contains 50 to 70 percent methane, 30 to 40 percent carbon dioxide, small amounts of hydrogen, nitrogen and hydrogen sulfide. 200 cc of biogas gives about 900 kilocalorie of energy. About 2000 to 3000 metric tons of waste is produced every year in the form of cattle, sheep and goat dung, human feces, waste materials from slaughterhouses, garbage from homes, markets, hotels, industries, etc. All these materials can be used to produce biogas. This would not only keep the surroundings clean but also reduce pollution of environment. No toxic gases are produced. The leftover material is rich in organic materials. Nitrogen and phosphorus rich manure is used for agricultural crops. In view of the importance of biogas, let us examine how it is made. Biogas is produced in a biogas plant in three stages. Stage 1. Aerobic bacteria are allowed to degrade the complex molecules present in the organic waste matter to smaller molecules. Stage 2. The small molecules are fermented anaerobically to produce organic acids, mostly acetic acid. Stage 3. The methanogenic bacteria act on acetic acid anaerobically and produce methane gas. This gas is collected into containers and supplied to consumers. Apart from these waste materials like paper, cardboard, wood waste etc can be used to produce steam which in turn is used to operate generators to produce electricity. There are some plants which have a high content of petroleum. Such crops are known as petro crops. Algal forms like Botrogococcus brownie and plants like Calotropis procera have high petroleum content, but commercial production of petroleum from these plants is not economical. Sugar cane juice is used to prepare cane sugar. The liquid waste that comes out of processing of cane sugar is known as molasses. By introducing yeast cells into molasses, alcohol is produced by fermentation. This alcohol is a source of energy and a solvent in the pharmaceutical industry. The waste pulp of sugarcane known as bagasse 
is a good manure the alcohol obtained from yeast fermentation is mixed in different proportions with petrol and used as fuel in automobiles the mixture is called gasohol the sea weeds called kelps in dried form are used as cattle feed the biomasses of these algae are used in biogas production dear students you have learned how important energy is for survival of living organisms it is imperative on our part to use the energy judiciously we have not only to protect but find ways and means to increase these resources it is the urgent need of the day to discover alternate sources of energy if we wish to save the planet from extinction until we meet again please use your resources wisely take care and goodbye